What's up, everybody? Another episode of Community Voices. Today, very special guest. We got Scotty Barnes with us, Toronto Raptors. Scotty, how you feeling? I'm pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. Cool. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, first and foremost, you know, congrats, you know, making a couple of events for All-Star Weekend. You know, what part of the weekend are you most, you know, looking forward to? Um, I would say really just the Rising Stars game. Uh, really, uh, that's the one I'm looking forward to mostly. Uh, just being out there, just going out there, just trying to have fun, yeah. have fun, play with new teammates. Mm-hmm. Uh, just build that camaraderie, uh, being in that atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's just going to be the most exciting thing, uh, playing the atmosphere and just having fun, really. Definitely. So you're one of the players that go like 100% during like All-Star or just kind of like cruise control, just kind of take your time with things and you're trying to go too hard? I was really thinking about that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to give like 85, 90% our <laughs> effort. Uh, but you got to really just see how it's going though. Like if it's if we really try to win though, so I'm gonna be giving. I'm not gonna just let people walk to the basket on me. I'm gonna yeah. be playing defense. Crazy, <laughs> cool. So what was it like getting that call saying that you're gonna, you know, get invited to participate? Uh, I would say uh, it just really. I wouldn't say I was super surprised. Uh, I know I've been playing well, of course, uh, but I was just really excited. Uh, happy, uh, of course. People were my friends and family was excited for me as well. Uh, so uh, like it was just like a, a a friend and family like we're just excited together uh, being able for them to come out here and enjoy this moment with me. Beautiful, and I'm sure there's plenty more to come in the years to come. So first, is sure. and what was it like, you know, making that journey from Florida to to Canada? I know uh, warm weather, now I would say bubble coats, puffers, and all that stuff. I would say it was something that I wasn't really expecting. I didn't know how the weather get down. You know, me being in Florida my whole life, yeah. I'm just used to that that sunshine, the beaches, you know, that warm weather. Uh, but coming to Canada, you know, it was a it wasn't really such a hard adjustment. Uh, I would really just say I really do the same things wherever I go: hoop, basketball. Uh, that's really mostly what I do. Uh, but me being in the snow all the time, I would say that's just something different. Uh, mm-hmm. It, it makes you really appreciate Florida for what it is. You can just go out there and walk outside and see the sun. Uh, Toronto, you might not see the sun for a couple of days. Uh, but, you know, it's all right. Uh, it's not that much of a big difference to me, though. Uh, me just being in the house. Probably put on a coat. Um, never had to wear a coat before, but had to purchase my first one. So, you know, that's, a, that's a, uh, something new. Yeah, for sure. So talk to me about Night Riders real quick. So... What's your relationship like with them and, you know, speak to the work they've been doing? Uh, Knight Riders, uh, Kino, uh, really a good dude. Me going over there, uh, start playing with the Knight Riders. Uh, my 11th grade year, it was just uh, something that we, it was just bound to happen. Uh, it was right in, in my community uh, for me to just play and just really just try to support that team. Uh, we just really built a close connection with each other. Uh, that really just kept us stuck together like glue. Uh, I would say that's just made out that relationship just like so tight. For sure. So like, what would you say were some of the biggest challenges you faced as kids within like the community growing up? And how has Night Rise kind of like helped you navigate those like uh, obstacles? Say that again? Uh, how, like, what were some of like your biggest challenges growing up just as a kid? within the community as well. And how did Night Rise kind of help you navigate? Uh, just being able to uh, find some somewhere to play at. Uh, really, in the, in the community, you just be able to go outside, play at the park, uh, really. But you didn't really have, like, that organization that really – that can just help you have that platform, help you build a platform where it can show you across the world, really. Uh, show you to those social media outlets, get you offers to play around the country, uh, to just help your dreams come true, really. I would say that's one big thing. Uh, I would say that them just helping the community, helping kids that haven't really been seen as much, uh, just grow their platform, uh, being able to be seen across the world, being introduced into more college coaches, being able to call their phone, 
uh, to help kids' dreams come true. I would say that's one thing that uh, when I was younger, the community just didn't really see. You just was at the Salvation Army or the local parts just playing. Yeah. And they're there to help provide that service for people to get their names out. Absolutely. And last question for you. So who inspires you just like on your day to day? Uh, I would really just say my family. Uh, my mom inspires me how hard she works for each and every single day. Uh, the sacrifice she made as a kid of uh, just keep working constant jobs, working overnights, different mm -hmm. things like that. I'll say my my stepbro, Jason, uh, seeing how when we were young, how dedicated he was to just go to the gym, try to get better. Yeah. Uh, every day, just giving me someone to be able to talk to uh, about anything in life. Uh, I really say that really just helped me. Uh, I would say my brothers, my sisters for being there through tough times, uh, having my back through rough situations, uh, just being able to have that comfort for me, uh, for me being able to have a safe place, no matter uh, if I was going through a situation or not, them just yeah. being there, having my back, uh, supporting me throughout this whole journey. Absolutely. Shout out to the family. For sure. Definitely. But yeah, you know, it's a quick conversation. It's a wrap. I know you got plenty of things to do this weekend. And I want you to enjoy that. You deserve it. You've been putting in work this whole season, man. And Night Riders, I acknowledge the work they've been doing as well. So we're going to make a nice donation to them to help them continue doing the work they've been doing. And yeah, that's a wrap. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Um, big shout out to you, my boy.